So grace to you, brothers and sisters. Um, today I want to respond to one of my favorite um, conservatives um, at Walsh. So he tweeted on the 31st of October. Um, I think this was in 2018. Um, so that was like three years ago. Um, on the Reformation Day, basically, uh, responding to the celebration of the Reformation, Reformation Day on the 31st of October, which we celebrate every year as Protestants. Uh, yes. So he writes, the church is fractured into a million pieces. Christians disagree about almost everything. Even if you dislike the Catholic Church, it seems odd for any Christian to gleefully celebrate Reformation Day. You are celebrating disunity and brokenness, like throwing a divorce party. Okay. So he then has a, another tweet coming at the bottom. He says, no matter what branch of Christianity you are, or no matter what branch of Christianity you are, the proper attitude, attitude towards the Reformation is one of Solemn, solemnness and sadness even if you think it was necessary it just makes no sense to celebrate the fact that there are 10,000 denominations so I, I also do not like the idea that there are thousands of denominations out there uh, but we can never be united where there is no truth there can never be unity where there's no truth. Um, firstly, let, let me put it this way. I didn't know if Matt Walsh was a Catholic. I knew that Michael Knowles was. But now I think this actually shows that he, he Matt is also a, a Catholic. So continuing where I stopped with my argument, um, as much as we desire unity as Christians, um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that it cannot exist where there's no truth. We cannot run away from the fact that the Catholic Church um, puts a burden on people, uh, which is to work for their salvation rather than to, to draw them to have faith only on Christ. Um, it emphasizes tradition more than scripture. Uh, you get the Pope contradicting the scriptures a lot i mean he not so long ago he amended the 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 lord's prayer or the disciples prayer as some likes to call it uh he amended that change the part where it says it said lead us not into temptation um i can't really remember what line he put there i think he said allow me not to be tempted something like those um uh, and disagreed with the part where the Lord said, lead us not to temptation, is saying that God does not lead us to temptation and all that. So basically disagreeing with what the Lord said there. So we can never run away from those facts um, about the Catholic Church. And the reason why the Martin Luther protested, it was not to have 10,000 denominations. It was for the lay person to be able to have the scriptures and able to read them for themselves. Um, imagine people were dependent on priests and all those were in authority to read the scriptures for them. Um, and they would only hear the scriptures maybe on a Sunday when they are gathering. Um, during the week, they can read the scriptures from, for themselves. The fact that they have to confess their sins to a priest um, instead of directing their prayers straight to the Lord. So we have so many reservations about the Catholic faith um, and unfortunately they cannot be ignored. Um, salvation is by faith alone in Christ alone. Um, yeah, so it's by grace alone, through faith alone in Christ alone, um, based on what is revealed in scripture alone, for the glory of God alone. That there's no Mary in between. Um, Mary was never exalted to a prominent position in scriptures. The, the disciples never gave a, a sending position in the church. 
In fact, we hardly hear about her in the book of Acts. I don't think there's any time where she's mentioned. Uh, I don't think there's any time where even during the, 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 the Lord's, even during the gospel where it, it consistently or constantly uh, mentions her um, or even references her as mother of God. So the, the doctrines of the Catholic Church were full of errors uh, and Martin Luther was one of the people who were able to observe that and it's what the church has been observing for the past 500 years. And the, the, the celebration of the Reformation, it's not the celebration of a divorce party. Uh, even if we have divorced from the Catholic Church, this is not any kind of divorce um, that is immoral. Uh, this is the kind of divorce that has divorced from a system that was burdensome to the people. Because we come to Christ so that we can have those burdens taken away. Um, and unfortunately, that's what we do not get from the, from the Catholic Church or from being part of the Catholic Church. So I'm, I'm assuming this was a call by Matt to, for people to return to the Catholic Church. But unfortunately, we can't return to the Catholic Church for these specific reasons. Unless the Catholic Church embraces that scripture alone is authority in every believer's life and that the Pope does not have authority, there's nowhere in scripture where the Pope is given authority over other people. Um, yeah, basically that's that. Uh, I really love Matt Walsh. Um, I, I watched his, his, his episodes on... Yeah, I, I usually listen them on on Google, Google, Google podcasts, and also on YouTube as well. So yeah, um, he's one of the guys that I listen to um, outside the Christian service, but on this one he's wrong, um, and I disagree with him. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with you.